welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. I'm a little wet. It's raining out. I just went into the post office and now I am about to drive about 45 minutes to pick up some free inventory that I found on Craigslist. So I have no idea what's going to be in these bags. It's going to be a mystery. I will open them later. I'm not sure how many I'm going to take. Uh, the ad says you can peek into them, but you can't like cherry pick through them basically. So, you know, I'm just going to grab some, definitely peek in. And if they look like total trash, I'm not going to grab many, but if they look okay, I will probably fill my car and then I'll take the stuff home and I will go through it on camera. So I have my essentials. I have some Clorox wipes. I mean, I assume this man is just going to open his garage and let me go in. Uh, he said everything's like out in his, his like big garage. Uh, he did, he said move them from his storage unit and he used gloves and everything like that. I did bring my own gloves. So, you know, it's not going to be any like social contact or anything like that. I'm simply going and picking up some free inventory which may turn out really great. I do still have a death pile, but you know, I've been working on it, but who knows how long this is really gonna last. So I'm gonna take any opportunity I can get in the meantime. So join me on this adventure today and let's, let's hope this is good and see what we find. I am about a mile away. It is rainy out here. idea how this is going to go, but we'll find out. It seems like the past two miles have taken literally forever. I'm not really sure why. and then turn right. Did I hit a quarter mile? The destination is on your left. Oh Once my god. My GPS is messing with me. <laughs> she gets sidetracked, I guess. The destination is on your left. 4250 main road west. Oh, I just passed it. I'm going to have to turn around. I'll tell you one thing. It looks like garbage from the from the road. I, I saw into the garage and it looks like trash. All right, so I'm going to do this quick little turn around. Quick little turn around here. And head back. Oh boy. We'll see. See how this goes. All right. 4250 should be right here. This place right here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. There's all the bags in the garage. I uh, don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. I'll put my phone in my pocket, my keys in my pocket.
guys look where i am i'm on the porch i am on the porch because i don't know what's in these bags and i honestly didn't want to take it into my actual house so i'm gonna go through them if there's anything i'm going to keep to resell i'm gonna put it in a wash pile it's gonna get thrown in the laundry um, if not it's going to go into a donation pile it's gonna be rebagged and i'll probably take it to um i mean the thrift stores are closed right now so i will probably take it to like the textile recycling bin type of things um we'll see so let's dig into these bags no clue what's in here i mean he didn't really want everything to be dug through and everything else so it was kind of like an as is take the bag kind of deal so let's get started all right, so this is La Mode. I bought, I bought, I brought, I didn't buy anything. This was all free. I brought, I think five bags out here and I still have quite a few in my car. So this is definitely gonna be some separate videos. So this is Desert Invitational. So this is some kind of like a work shirt type thing. That is, not going to be sellable so that is going to go into a donation pile i hope the lighting out here is okay it's kind of chilly out here to be honest all right so here we have a um broken handbag Let's see what brand this was danielle nicole that's going into the pile all right, here we have a TJ Maxx, looks like a linen type hat, like a safari hat maybe. It's got the tags on it, but it's definitely discolored. So that's not a keeper. So here is a vintage like denim chambray type hat. It does have it does have the union label so i'll keep that i'll give that a shot that'll be in the keep pile silver purse two dollars um cute little definitely it says bobby jerome it's got a lot of wear like everywhere that's going into the donation pile all right, here we have something from Land's End. This looks like, uh, is it maybe a swim top? I guess it might be. I guess it's probably a swim top. It's brown. It is cold out here. It's a brown size 16. So I'll see if I can do anything with that. I don't know. It doesn't really look like a 16. It looks pretty small, but maybe it's supposed to be. And it's definitely older, but we'll see. All right, here we have a very large bathrobe. This is Jennifer Moore, size medium. Donate. All right, what have we here? It's like a little spider, but it, it wasn't a spider. Lillian Vernon. So this is a Lillian Verner, at Vernon. It's um, monogrammed. It's like a robe, silky robe. That's going in the donate pile. So, so far we are not really doing too well, are we? Okay, here is a vintage Russell Athletic sweatshirt it says lbi which is long beach island new jersey but it's damaged so yeah ooh, total damage i mean it's like i don't even know what this is but that's all right so this bag's horrible <laughs> but it's kind of fun to dig through it was free what am i gonna do charter club donate Donate, donate, donate. I don't know if I'm going to find anything good in these guys, to be honest with you. Threads on threads. Yeah. Donate. Here we have a little tiny doily. 
keep that, maybe make a lot, because I think there's some in another bag. Uh, Pickering, nope, nope, not keeping. Tennessee River Gold. This is like a big sunflower t-shirt. Someone might want that for spring, right? Size large. Looks like it's kind of vintage. We'll, we'll give it a whirl. Another Pickering. Watch these be worth something, but I doubt it. I doubt it. These Pickering shirts. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should wash these and look those up. That striped. That striped pattern. I don't know. We'll see. They, quite honestly, will probably be going to the donation pile. Here's another charter club. Really worn. Little black hat. Uh, what else do we have in here? Here's another. Oh no, this is Sands about Golf. This is like vintage, but very worn. Uh, vintage. Bloomingdale's Men's Store, Peterborough Row. Yellowed to heck. Yellowed to heck. Not keeping. Not keeping. All right, guys. I don't know. Like I said, though, it was all free. So why the heck not give it a try? So that's some weird shirt. We're not keeping that. Here's an Antigua. Antigua. Borgata jacket, which is like a casino. I don't know. I'll throw this in the wash and see if someone, if someone wants a, a casino jacket. Maybe it's um one of their favorite places to play. Who knows? Liz Sport. These things are so freaking worn. Oh boy. All right. Uh, yellowed. Don't even care what that is. Uh, let's see here. This bag is a bust. Liz Ware. All right. So lots of stuff going to the donation bin in that bag. All righty. Let's see here. What do we have here? I don't know. This is like some vintage Western and casual wear. I can't even tell what that says. It's something to store clothes in, but it's, I don't know, that thing's like frozen or something. It is, it is cold. So here is a vintage like apron type thing, but it is stained all to heck. So I'm not messing with that. I'm just not. All right, here we have another little doily, little crocheted Kind of doily. Here we have, oh, this looks to be a Christmas table runner. I mean, that's not horrible. That's all right. That's kind of cute, right? All right, I might be able to get a couple dollars out of that. Here we have another Christmas table runner. That one is uh, not branded. This one does not appear to be branded either. This is nice though. This is a nice Christmas table runner. Mm, let's see here. This bag is not super full by any means. So we have, it looks like we have some linens in here. This looks to be like a tablecloth. Very, very yellowed. Looks like it even has a hole in it. This some kind of a doily type thing. We have more. Oh, this this is like a cheap lace type thing. Another doily. I might lot those together and just let someone like buy the lot. I'm not really sure, you know, then they can like soak them or do whatever they want to do to them. Because I don't really want to do anything to them, to be honest. 
I don't know. Here we have a, this, this one's like, I got a little flower on it. Do people still buy this stuff? I, I mean, I'm not even really sure. This is just plain. Looks like we might have a plain tablecloth here and a piece of a shoe box. Uh, here we have some more doilies. Like I said, this was like a blind kind of pickup. No idea really what was in here. Um, this is very stained and yellowed. But someone might want those to just try to clean up. I don't know. I don't know what people do with those. Here we have another apron. This looks handmade. Very stained. Someone really cooked in the kitchen with that. Um, what do we have here? An Orr's bill from 1971 more of those so well that was another bag that was pretty much a bust Let's see if i can untie this i can't so i'm just gonna rip it i don't have the patience for, for that okay what do we have here this feels really soft but my hands are getting kind of numb so <laughs> uh exertech size xl it's real i mean you know what what brand exertech is that sold at um I don't know where that's sold at, but this is really soft, so I'm gonna keep that one. I'm not gonna keep it for myself, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it. All right, here we have Jones New York. This is like a sweater. Um, that might not be too bad. I've sold Jones New York before. None of this is gonna be like, you know crazy prices or anything but again it was free okay so here we have a vintage and Klein silk top it's a silk short sleeve definitely definitely vintage I don't know if anybody if that's the type of vintage anybody's gonna want but J. Jill stretch size medium Excuse me, that's going to go into the wash pile. That might be okay. J. Jill Medium. This looks like it might be silk. It is. It's 100% silk. But it looks like it might be kind of faded. I don't know. And it's got a, it's got a stain on it. That's getting donated. Okay, so here we have an indigo moon jacket, which is kind of like one of those art to wear kind of pieces. And this was sold on QVC a while back. I've sold it before, and this is kind of like a cool print. It's a size medium, so that's gonna go into the wash pile. I, I think I'll be able to resell that. I have a bunch of these ribbons coming out of here. I don't know what these things are, but I'm thinking that they might go to like a dress or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep digging through here. All right. So here we have Studio One. This has the tags on it. It's like a short sleeve top. $118. What? For that thing? I don't know. We'll keep it. All right. Here we have some more animal prints. Oh, it's good old Alfred Dunner. But you know what? It's animal print. And it's kind of like see-through. It's going to be good for spring. You know what? Alfred Dunner was free. So I definitely can get $10 out of that. Here we have another Alfred Dunner piece. This one's stained. That's going... I'm not even messing with this stained stuff. Okay. Oh, I thought... I thought maybe this went with that other $118 piece or whatever, because it looked like the same color, but it's not. This is actually Country Sophisticates by Pendleton. 
So definitely vintage. Made in USA of imported fabric. I want this feels like very silky to me. Uh, it looks like it's in good condition. Uh, let's see if we have any other. Oh, it's polyester size 14. We'll give it a whirl. Okay, here we have. Uh, this actually might be a dress. Okay, here we have a White House Black Market size 6 dress, a sleeveless dress. That's kind of cute. I can work with that. I can work with that for sure. Uh, here we have another J. Jill piece. This is a cardigan sweater. Kind of got like a little bit of leopard print. I hope the lighting is okay because I do have the blind closed. I have this actually, um, there's like plexi, plexi, <laughs> plexiglass panels. The one is falling down though. It's kind of, that's why it's like bowing out right here and the, the blind is like that. But I mean, pretty soon, as soon as it gets warm, all of those are going to be removed. The blinds are going to go up and everything, you know, it'll be like last year out on the porch. But in the meantime, it's still cold. All right, so these are J. Crew. Um, size so eight city fit J crew factory. These are kind of like a wool pants. I don't know. I'll keep them. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, this isn't as horrible as the first bag. Uh, this is Raffaella size 12. It's like a wool blend skirt. Eh, why not? Um, here we have Kate Hill. That's usually sold at, I believe, Lord & Taylor or Nordstrom, maybe. This is a wool blend jacket and skirt set. Yep, that's the match. That's the match. Okay, so that might not be, that might not be horrible. Mm. All right, here we have an R&M Richards uh, kind of jacket. I'm not, I'm not real sure about this piece. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry, my nose is starting to run. It's very cold out here. So this is Easton Park, size medium. It's acrylic like a vintage cardigan it appears to be um i don't know if anyone's gonna want an easton park cardigan but i mean it's not it, it's kind of soft i'm a sucker for these soft sweaters so i am gonna look that up and see if there's any that sell i've never heard of easton park ever here is a uh, Banana Republic stretch size large. This one though, it's definitely been stretched too many times. You can tell that thing is like, that thing is bent out of shape. Here we have a gap body kind of top. Uh, I don't really know what's going on with this. Oh, I guess it's like belted or something. We'll, we'll give that a whirl. Uh, all right. Uh, we have, what is this? Oh, this is um the RM Richards thing again. Okay, so this, this definitely looks like a vintage piece. And you know what? That must go with the jacket. The little jacket must go on top. So we'll, we'll take that as a set. Uh, then I have this big jacket in here, which is probably going to be donated. It's definitely like a vintage looking jacket. You know what? It's got the belt. It's got that belt and everything. Let's see if this has a brand. Sometimes they're on the inside. So let's unbutton it and take a look. I just snapped 
It just snapped that button right off. Where the heck did the button go? Was that dry rotted or what? Holy mackerel. Okay, smug. You're not so smug now, are you? Your buttons are popping off. Look at this, smug. I was gonna say I should have brought my phone out here and looked this stuff up, but I'm filming this haul with my phone. I use my GoPro for a lot of things, but I always film my hauls with my iPhone. I think I'm a little crooked today too, but oh well. So smug, uh, not sure about that. So I might actually break this into like three videos because I see we're already going on like 20 minutes here. I don't know, let me break into this bag. I am getting cold. So here we have a uh, J Jill stretch. These are like a boot cut pair of pants and they look like they're kind of like faded. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna put those in the donation pile. Here we have Cabela's Casuals. All right, we'll do, we'll take that. No, we won't. They have all kinds of stains on the back. Ah, uh, all right, Banana Republic, size 10. These look like a pair of um, like big wide leg, urban wide leg, that's what they're called. And I hear wide leg is coming back, so maybe we'll throw those, throw those in the wash and give them a shot here. Okay, I like this. Chico's So Slimming, size 0 0.05, 0 0.5. These are um, probably maybe like a six or something. I, I'll have to check the size chart, but I like that brand. Even though that's a smaller size, I'll wash those up and try to sell those. Here we have Chico's size one. These are like a pair of cargo pants, like cropped cargo. Um, very, very worn and faded though. So we're going to pass on those. Uh, what in the heck is that? Oh girl, I got some Lululemons in here. What? 10 tall, still with the rip tag. But I will tell you, these look like some old Lululemons. Like these are like the originals. <laughs> check them out they have like really wide legs they're really looking washed out on the camera and probably because of this terrible lighting but you know what i'm gonna give these a whirl that's like my that's my line today i'm giving everything a whirl look at we have the little thing on the back here like i said we have the rip tag but look at the little pocket look at the little pocket you never see it like that anymore but 10 tall I don't know. We're gonna see. I can't believe Lululemon. After that first bag, who would have suspected? But like I said, they are definitely an older, older style. Here we have a pair of Chouse, 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 New York, uh, all stained the heck up. <coughs> so they're, <coughs> excuse me, they're going into the donation pile. Ooh. I have allergies. I have spring. These are like dry rotted. Can you guys hear that? These are dry rotted. Like, oh my God. <coughs> I have spring allergies. And these are Soma, which would be good if they weren't like a million years old. I like Soma stuff. It's usually pretty nice, but those are like, mm -mm. nope. Uh, what do we have here? Title Nine. I've never heard of Title Nine. They look like another like athleisure wear kind of pants. But again, I don't think that's gonna be something I'm gonna sell. You know what though? If I make a little bit of money off of this, I'm happy. It was free. All right, here we have a pair of Eddie Bauer. Uh, these are like flannel lined pants and people like these in the winter to like hunt and stuff like that. So I am definitely going to keep those and list those. They're not going to sell for a whole lot, but 
that's okay. We have a pair of Land's End like khakis or chinos, but they're very worn. Here we have another pair. Um, these are very wide leg, fit two, size 10. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I just don't really want to spend my time on those. And I think they're stained and everything. Those are just going to go to the uh, donation bin. As are these. These are Liz Claiborne. Very old. Very worn. All right. What do we have here? These are so worn. The tag is worn off. And again, listen. You hear that? That is drier than some toast. <laughs> that is like so, that is terrible. This stuff's old. All right, here we have a pair of J. Jill stretch pants. These almost look like a like they could be a linen blend. So let me check that out. Um, they are, they are a linen blend, so they might be okay. Almost to the bottom of this bag, guys, and then we're going to call it a day for this for this one. And then I'm going to do another video. I'm probably going to break this into three. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to break it into three. So here's a pair of um, Under Armour. Very wide leg. I don't know. I mean, they don't seem terrible. I might just keep you know, keep these, not keep them myself, but keep them to sell, to try to sell. Liz Claiborne Jackie. Um, it's getting dark out here. It's getting dark out here, but I think, I think these are in decent condition. I, I had a pair of Liz Claiborne Jackie before that came out of like a free pile or something and they took a while to sell, but they sold. Um, We'll go through these and then like I said we're done here so we have a pair of gap body wide leg leggings we'll try those out then we have a pair I really hope you guys can even see here then we have a pair of Under Armour cold gear again older style but stretch is still good and everything should have turned these overhead lights. I thought it was going to be bright enough out here. Oh, here we go again with the dry stuff. Title IX Sports. What? That is insane. That is like totally rotten. I don't know how long this guy had this stuff for. Okay, so here we have First Ascent. I have never heard of that. This is what is this? Extra large? Doesn't look extra large to me. Um, what is this? Banana Republic. Worn, worn, worn. This, this, whatever this is, is definite lands and these are definitely worn as well. Uh, here we have another Title Nine. Not even messing with that. And lastly, what do we have here? These look like they're, um, they're Eddie Bauer. And they're worn. My neighbor's letting her dogs out. I just heard her go pee, everybody. That's what she's telling them. All right, so this stuff's all going to get rebagged up. I'm going to film again tomorrow when it's brighter out here. But you guys probably couldn't see a thing. Oh, sorry about that. All right. That's going to wrap it up, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, bye.